Hey everybody, this is Tara Taglianti and welcome to another video um, on my watch page, Tara Taglianti CFMW. Um, so today I'm talking about modalities, healers, and coaches. So the reason I bring this up is because when you start going into the world of Hold on, let me get this held a little bit better. When you start diving into the world of self-improvement, energy work, and spirituality and all that stuff, there tends to be a lot. So there's a lot of people on the planet right now waking up and realizing that they have abilities. And there are people that are actualizing these abilities and doing working miracles with them. In fact, you might be one of them. Chances are, if you're listening to this video and anything I have said, you may be somebody that is starting to wake up to, oh wow, like, I, there's nothing wrong with me. I just have abilities beyond what, what the, you know, the status quo reality has taught. So, that being said, there are a lot of modalities out there. There's a lot of healing modalities. There are a lot of personal development modalities. There are a lot of, um, you know, a lot of different organizations. There are a lot of coaches. There are a lot of healers. And this industry is just going to keep growing. And I have it. And I've heard other experts in the world talk about how you know, this, this space is just going to continue to grow. The more people step into their truth, the more people start to actualize their talents and abilities. So it's going to be a very interesting place to be in the next 10 years. Um, I think, in, in my opinion, is that this is just going to keep growing. So here's the thing with modalities and healers and coaches like how do you find somebody that is right for you well here's my I can only give my personal experience and I've had a lot of personal experience in this um, I have gone to I've I've attended several seminars I've done plenty of different modalities I've done all kinds of work um, on myself and for myself and I can only say is that like you you are the only what if you are the only one that will inherently know what is right and what is real and true for you okay so here's the thing is that there may be people out there that that um there are those types of people who become healers and they don't have the best intentions um uh, you know, everybody is, everyone's in some sort of an evolution within themselves. And, and this is where it's like trusting yourself and trusting your gut. And there are tools that can help you more so navigate that, um, such as like the litmus test or light and heavy, you know, what's light for you is true what's heavy is a lie that's going to be explored in further videos probably tomorrow's video I'll talk about that but um all i'm saying is that like if your friends are all doing it that's cool right and what might be true for them might not be the same thing that is true for you so while your friends might talk about a certain healer or coach as if they're god's greatest gift to the planet and all that stuff you may not resonate on that on that same person the way that your friends do. And so here's the thing, it's a very personal choice that you make when you work with coaches, that you it's a very personal choice to work with healers. I mean, you are basically kind of telling them and opening yourself up to some very vulnerable places and, you know, some so that space is is pretty important for you to use your awareness and if something does not feel right to you if something's not resonant for you don't go there it's plain and simple um you know with modalities i mean sometimes you know i i've i've attended some amazing modalities and and stuff like that sometimes these places have staff members that are complete and utter dicks and that's not cool to me you know what I mean so my my personal experience is that like 
you know, I, I really honor, I really enjoy my, my personal thing is that when, with modalities, if the staff is not embodying and being all the things that this organization talks about and preaches and bees, that's, that's a, that's a pretty, it's an, it's an indicator, okay, of, you know, people, you know, the thing is, is that when we have compassion for others and all that stuff, sometimes the more empathic types tend to kind of get bulldozed at times by people who don't function that way. And um, I don't, I just say, use your awareness when navigating things, these things and always know that no matter where people are, if they're a staff member, they may not have evolved to a place within themselves so where they can have certain empathy that would actually work or you know if they're putting in the work and doing the work to create more of themselves as what this organization embodies such as like kindness and caring like all kindness right if they're making efforts towards that cool but if they're not and they're just like being a douchebag and representing some organization, that to me is a bit of a red flag. Um, so, and you want to just be aware are, are the, you know, is everyone, what, what is this organization's intentions? Like I, I was, a, I had attended a, one certain type of an organization where in the, <clears throat> on the outside, it made it look like it was all about love and unity and, and, and community and caring and kindness and all this stuff and then I staffed and I found out it was really like all about the numbers like it was just drilled in like we got to get people to register registration registration you know it, it just didn't it it and they were it went from people being very loving and caring and then it and then it just like switched to this like really like abrasive um, type of behavior, um, which didn't work for me. And I felt very gaslit. Um, I, it, and, and I'm just gonna, that's about it, you know? So here's the thing is like, we get very inspired and people want to empower us and we want to change the world. Those, the types that, that resonate with, with energy work and this kind of stuff generally like have it that, that, we can make a change and a lot of healers coaches modalities it's all about empowering you now if someone you know there's the there one of my favorite modalities access consciousness is the way that they empower is they ask you questions it's all about you knowing what you know versus them telling you what to do and so that's another that to me is a as a is a sign of like when someone wants to empower you they're not going to tell you what to do from their point of view or their dogma's point of view or their rules like telling you you should do this or or x y and z whatever they're going to ask you what do you know about this because what if you are unique so unique that you're here on this planet to put out your unique gift and there are certain things that only you know about about life, the world, about energy. Like, what is it that you know? What is it that you came here specifically to gift the world? And um, it's even written in the Bible um, that, you know, we're here with certain gifts. And to not actualize our gifts is like not fulfilling what we're actually here for. So, I mean... I just want to say if you're going to choose a coach, use the same thing just because everybody else loves them and maybe it looks they look amazing on Facebook. A lot a lot of people put their best foot forward. You know, a lot of people hide some of the ways that they are able to do what they do. A lot of people don't, you know, it, it's just, you know, the way that I, what I love, what I really like in a coach is when they're transparent and they value being transparent and they are vulnerable and they just state things. If they go into debt, they talk about it. If they, they kind of bring you on your, their journey. Authenticity is another thing that I look for. I really value people who share themselves authentically. And, you know, I, I just value that. I had, um, one of someone in one of my modalities shared, you know, had a, had a, 
a call, a telecall, and on the call he stated that he was a million dollars in debt. You know, did he have to divulge that? No. Did maybe did some people judge him or lose some sort of respect for him? Possibly, but you know what? I didn't. I actually felt like, wow, you know, it's okay to have ups and downs and go through shit and Successful people go through ups and downs. I mean, there are billionaires on the planet. I just saw um I just saw Grant Cardone talk about how he has five hundred dollars five hundred million dollars in debt, but that makes him money. So it's all a perspective on how you look at it and what you do with it. So I mean, I just I am just saying that this is a realm where you're gonna be getting vulnerable. You wanna watch out for people who may take advantage of that and to enjoy the journey and it is a journey and use use what use your guidance system use use tools like light and heavy use the litmus test and that I will talk about in tomorrow's video is going to be more about trusting yourself and trusting your knowing all right guys so i hope you got something out of this video today if you like my videos click the link below it's Tara Taglianti CFMW. If you'd like to join me in my Facebook group, it's called Out of the In Crowd. Just do a search and, and join up with us. And um, I'll see you tomorrow on the next video. This is Tara, and I am out. Bye-bye.